Hey everyone, welcome back to Bomb Grillings. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Out of my norm, we're going camping. So we're gonna go out here, we're gonna find a spot to camp. We're gonna set up camp, and then we're gonna cook something. So stick around, we're gonna go set up the tent, and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Okay, so we made it to a spot that I think will be good to camp at. It's got some level ground and we've got a pond in the back there. That's kind of cool. So it'll give us something to look at, some maybe some wildlife or whatnot. All right, let's get to putting the tent up. All right, there's the tent. Got it all set up. It's a nice little tent. It's a single person. It's got the uh, little one-man shelter inside here with the bug net. Plenty of room though. All right, camp's all set up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook some steak. I've got this firebox. This is a little camp stove. This thing is awesome. So I'll show you guys this. Let's get to cooking some steak and some mashed potatoes. Okay, now that we got our fire started there, we're gonna go ahead and get out a couple things here. Got some seasoning, got a couple of those utensils. We need to get our cutting board. Grab our cutting board real quick. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice up our potatoes and get our garlic going for garlic mashed potatoes. Okay, we got all our potatoes chopped up. So now what we're gonna do is we got this little billy pot. We're gonna go ahead and put them in there and we're gonna boil them here in a minute. Try not to lose any of these. Oh, just lost one. Whew. Add some water to that.
get to boiling some potatoes here in a minute. We got a couple cloves of garlic. We're gonna chop those up and we're gonna cook them. All right, we're gonna throw that garlic back on there. The first time I had it, it was a little too hot. Second try. All right, now we'll get our butter in there. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of butter. That should go a lot better this time. Okay, that garlic's done, so we're gonna pull it off. Set it over here, and I'm actually going to use this pan again. So I'm going to take the garlic, I'm going to put it in this plate, and save this for later once we get our mashed potatoes ready. So we'll just save that there. Okay. All right, we'll go ahead and set our potatoes up there so we can boil those, get them boiling. So now while that's boiling, we're going to go ahead and get some asparagus going. So I'm just going to kind of break that up. Something like that. We're going to throw it in here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to add it on top of our boiling pot there. Hopefully this works. Now we're gonna add some butter to that as well. Grab ourselves a slice of that. Throw that in there. Now I got these cool little straws and we put uh, onion and garlic powder in them. That way it's light and easy to carry. So I'm gonna put that on top of the asparagus. And then we'll just add it to the top of the pot. Close it up. We'll let that thing boil. All right, let's check on them spuds real quick. See how they're doing. Carefully take this off. Try not to lose them. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Oh boy, they are mashing. I think they're done. Okay, we're gonna have to pull those off. And then I'm going to have to keep cooking that asparagus. It's going to take a little bit longer, I think. Pull this off here. And then we're going to just kind of drain it, we'll drain it off. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of this water to the asparagus. That might help them cook a little bit too. We're almost ready to mash them. We're going to put this back on top kind of monitor it as well. There we go. Now that our mashed potatoes are all done, we're gonna go ahead and put some butter in there and then add our garlic. Got some butter. Now we're gonna add our garlic. Add that to it. Get that all mixed up. Man, those potatoes just mashed right away. That's awesome. They were good and cooked. Now what I'm gonna throw in there is this here, this cream cheese. This is a laughing cow cream cheese or cream Swiss French onion cheese. We're gonna throw that into our potatoes. This is gonna be so good. A 
Oh man, those things are going to be so good. Mm. Okay, that asparagus is good. We're going to take it off and we're going to put it back on top of this here pot. Very careful, very hot. Oh no, might got a lot of little burn there. That's okay, it'll cool down now. Oh yeah, that stuff looks good though. All right, now we're gonna let our fire kind of cool down before we get our steak on there. Close that up, keep it all warm. Okay, that fire's all cooled down, it's time to prep our steak. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now what we need to do is we need to prep our firebox and we got this here cooking grate. And this goes right on top of that there firebox. That's really cool because look at that. It's gonna fit right on there. Perfect. So we'll put that on top. We'll let this get all warmed up. Then we'll sear our steak. Okay, so we're just gonna doctor up our steak here. Take it out of the package. Actually, I'm gonna leave it right there on the package and we're just gonna season it. We're gonna season it with some Ancho Espresso. Now, I'm not sponsored by Lane's Barbecue. I've just been really enjoying their, their rubs and seasonings. So check them out if you want. If not, hey, no biggie. But I wanted to try this Ancho Espresso. I think it's gonna be really good. So we'll go ahead and just sprinkle that on top. My main camera died, so if you guys have a little bit of a different audio and picture, that's because I'm using my phone now. Just saying. Go ahead and get that steak on top of there. Woohoo, yeah. We'll let that cook on each side, get a nice sear. This thing is going to be so good. We'll hit that other side real quick. That ancho. Espresso. Yeah, something like that. Let's see. All right, time for a flip. Get that other side going. Yeah. I'm so hungry. All right, we're gonna pull that thing off and we're gonna let her rest. Then we'll slice and dice. I'm gonna put it on the cutting board. Yes, for now. I've had the mashed potatoes and asparagus sitting over here by the fire, kind of rotating it to keep it warm. Let's go ahead and plate that up. Let's plate up some of that asparagus and mashed potatoes. Still a little warm here. Okay, got that asparagus. Looks a little slimy now. Might have been cooking for a little long. Adding that potato water changed the consistency there a little bit. Kind of strange. I still think it's going to taste good. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like much, but I think it's going to taste good. Now for the potatoes. Oh, yeah. Those look good. I love mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. Well, I'll be able to eat all these, but hey, it's just me. I'm gonna try. All right, that steak is rested. We're gonna go ahead and chop into it, slice into it, see what it looks like. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That looks delicious. Look at that. Steak. That's what I'm talking about right there. That looks delicious. All right, I'm going to slice it up and I'm going to put it on my plate. All right, throw it on the plate. Oh my 
my word. I just got some of the juices. That tastes so good. Oh, man. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to clean up a little bit, and then we're going to take a bite. All right, there we go, guys. Finally got it cooked up. Actually, you know what I need to do? I need to put some more seasoning. Now, well, I got a little bit of salt. Now, I went ahead and already added a little bit of salt and pepper. These little straws are really cool. They make it really easy to pack. You just get a straw, you put your seasonings in there, and then you heat it up on the bottom and on the top, and it seals it in. That's all you need to do. No need to carry around a big old bunch of salt and pepper jars or anything like that. Tip. All right, there you go. Steak, potatoes, asparagus. And we made it all on that little tiny firebox grill. That is so cool. All right, let's dig into it. I'm really excited to try this. Go ahead and try not to dump my plate here. All right, first bite of steak down the hatch. Oh, mm. Mm. That is so good. That is so good. I love the seasoning. The seasoning's excellent. It's a little, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's awesome. That's one of the best seasonings I've had. I really like this. Mm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is so good. It is so good. All right, let's try the potatoes. Oh, mm. oh that's really good too. The potatoes are really good. This whole meal is delicious. Mm. Asparagus is really good too. Excellent meal, excellent. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'm gonna finish this meal up, get ready for bed, and then video's not over yet. I'll see you guys in the morning. Would you go already? King me. What? I quit. Oh, good morning, everyone. Well, it rained and it rained and it rained last night and it finally stopped. So let's go make some breakfast. Oh yeah. Beautiful morning. Yeah, it's raining now. Oh, I want to make breakfast. Man, it's coming down bad. <laughs> it's coming down good. I don't know if I'm going to get my coffee. Oh, it's crazy. Okay, let's get our coffee stuff here. We've got a coffee press. Right there is my coffee press. Get that going. Got my coffee cup. Filters and stuff. All right, 
Let's start that fire. Okay, the rain stopped for just a little bit. We're gonna try to get that fire going so we can make some coffee. Okay, we got our fire going. So what we got here in the firebox kit is this little circular doohickey. We put that on top and then we can set our cup right on top of there. We can boil our water. So let's set that up real quick. Go ahead and set these fire sticks right here. Starting to rain again. Set this right on top. Oh yeah, at least we got our coffee going. If that's all we can do, I'm happy with that. All right, it's finally clearing up a little bit. We got some blue skies out there, so that's good. So we'll be able to finally get this thing boiling and cook up some eggs and bacon. Okay, our water's almost to a boil, so now we gotta set up our Arrow press. So what we're gonna do is we're going to grind up some coffee. We'll get that ready to go so when the boil is ready, we're gonna have some coffee. About a scoop of whole beans. Throw that in our grinder. Put our lid back on. Now we'll set it in here. We'll just grind her up. A little something like that. Get our boiling water on top of that. Press it in. All right, there she is. Now we'll go ahead and slowly add that to our AeroPress. Give it a good little stir. And then we'll go ahead and press it real slow. Okay. Look at that, yes, coffee. All right, let's give her a taste. Oh, that's good. It's good coffee, really good. I love grinding my own coffee. And when you're in the woods, there's just something about it that just makes it even better. All right, let's cook some bacon and eggs. All right, now that we got our coffee made, we'll go ahead and get the bacon going, and then we'll cook our eggs. Got our little mess kit here. All right. Dust that out a little bit. Set that right on top. We got some pepper bacon here. Stuff should be really good. Go ahead and put that on. We're just gonna kinda toss it in there. It should all mash together.
Right, that bacon is looking good, just about done. We'll get them eggs going. Okay, that bacon's the way I like it. So we'll pull it off, and then we'll get our eggs going. Now I'm gonna leave that bacon fat in there. We're just gonna crack our eggs and go with it. Now I like a little bit of salt and pepper on my eggs. Got some more of those little packets. I'll do a little bit of salt or pepper. Do a little pepper. Do a little salt. And then of course, garlic and onion powder because I'm a crazy man for that. Garlic and onion powder, I love it. I'm sure you guys could tell. I love garlic and onion. All right, here goes the flip. We're gonna make it happen. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, those eggs are the way I like them. We're gonna pull them off and plate them up. Give it a try. Breakfast time, breakfast time. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that bacon and eggs. <laughs> yes. There we go, bacon and eggs. Let's give her a shot. Yeah, a little bit of yolk there. That egg's gonna be good, I can tell. Mm. Yeah, that's the way I like my eggs. That's good. Kind of mix it all up here. Bite of that there egg. Mm. Mm. That's amazing. Bacon? Bacon looks really good and crispy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh man. I was hungry. It's been quite the morning. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. Man, I had so much fun. We're gonna call this a camp and cook. And if you guys enjoy that and you want to see more of it. Make sure you comment down below and let me know because I sure like making these type of videos. It's so much fun being outside, cooking, enjoying just the, the scenery. I, I love it. I love it. So let me know what you guys think of this. Also, if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe and make sure you hit that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a video or go live. All right, I'm going to break down camp, go home, and take a shower. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bomb Grillin's out. Oh. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life oh, break down can be furious and it. things can go wrong. This is the worst part you of all. Go, breaking it down. You go. We're better off tomorrow. Up, but who clean. knows? <laughs> who knows? If we get joy or sorrow. Stay true.